Hello YouTubers, today I'm doing a review of LifeFlix, uh, a software for making capturing your old video 8mm memories uh, a much more easy and automated system, uh, which is really, really good. Um, they've now updated to 4.0.1 uh, and with that the main change is that um, it works on Big Sur and above. I was using their previous software for quite a long time, um, but with Apple updating their software every year, uh, it wasn't operating anymore, the old version. So they've updated that and that's what this is here. Uh, I will put links to the equipment needed and the software that you can buy from them directly, all in the description. Um, but it being a 2023 MacBook Pro, well, with USB-C now, so there's two adapters you need. Uh, so you've got USB-C running off here, and then we've got the Thunderbolt going off ultimately to the Firewire cable, which is the blue cable here. But yeah, I will put the links to those both on Amazon. I've had them a while now. Uh, and then the camera that is doing this job is the Sony TRV 410, which I've mentioned multiple times. Uh, is It's a really good capture camera because it does the, the digital... Um, digital eight, the height and the video eight. So we've got that all covered. I'm just rewinding the tape at the moment. Uh, in previous versions of LifeLix, unless they've moved it around because the user interface has changed in this new version, um, there was an option for ticking rewind the tape before capture. That seems to have gone. Um, so when you now click on import, it actually now just shares at the top the camera, which is identified correctly. Uh, the tape name, so say, you know, Paris 1996, for instance. Uh, you can put a description to go into a bit more detail if you want to, to add it to the files. Uh, by aut automatically, it has ticked compressed videos to save space. I will be turning that off because, yes, that will reduce space, but at a cost, which is video quality. Um, but it is, it's good to have there if you need to put it somewhere that's only got a small amount of space, for instance, USB to send to somebody. Uh, and then underneath you've got a tick here, which is create new scenes with each segment. So every time the camera goes through recording and it detects the start stop, which would, you would have done with the camera back in the day, uh, the tape's just rewound, that's good. Um, it will break those files up and at the end you can combine them uh, or you can just have them as are. And if there's certain clips that you want to send, which most people want to do, uh, you have that option. So I'm gonna leave that ticked. Uh, the tape is completely rewound. Now, up here it says about file system. That's not for settings. I've clicked on that already um, beforehand. Uh, that's if you're doing a video from your computer into here and you want to do something with it. We're not doing that. So it is a video camera capture, which is already selected. And now let's start the process. The tape is rewound and see how this goes. Okay, press record. It's not doing anything on the camera side, so let's just press play. So they have updated that and how that operates. Let's see the picture come through. There we go, lovely. So that's coming through. Uh, have we got sound? Do we capture sound on? No, uh, as I remember that didn't, there's my ugly mug. Uh, as I remember that, that, that is the process. You don't hear the sound come through, which you kind of don't want to anyway. You just want to let it run its automated system. And at the end, I will show you how that works. Okay, for the sake of this video, I'm now going to press stop on the camera. Just pretend it's come to the end of the tape, like the software would know anyway. Now at this point, all we need to do is pop down to the stop button, hit stop. And it's going to say, um, oops, popping up with two things. It has uh, detected the stop of the tape. That was automated, so that was great. So it's already done what I need it to. Would you like to keep the scenes that have already been recorded? Definitely. If you press discard, it's going to delete what we've just done. So let's click keep. And there we have it. Um, the tape is there. And if I press play, hopefully everything is captured, including sound. I can't remember. That's terrible. <laughs> yes. So that has indeed. That was just a small clip from the vlog I'd done on the tape. But yeah, for the sake of this video, um, that kind of shows how easy it is. Um, the quality looks to be... Um, let's just open that up the same as if I had captured it through uh, my normal process. So this hasn't done any degrading of the video, which is really good to see, because a lot of the software that is out there is USB primarily, um, but it is just, it really loses quality when capturing. This is a terrible video <laughs> for me to have captured tape-wise. I didn't actually know what was on here. I just picked the, the tape out of the box and stuff. 
But um, yeah, really nice software. Um, go to the output settings, see what's there. Okay, so they've got the quality here for 19, 10, 80, you know, the standard stuff. Um, I won't degrade that, I'll keep that at the highest, and then quality is at the highest by default. And then under here, you can tick here, and that will open QuickTime to automatically play it in the QuickTime player. But for sake of the recording, I will simply save this to the desktop, export, and it should be read. It's already, oh, well, that was very quick. Gives you a message, successful, done. So that is how easy it is and why I really love this software.